With just a week left until Election Tuesday, Mitt Romney wasted no time to gain ground on President Obama. Romney tried to win over Davenport with a speech at the Seven Cities Sod Farm. Opportunities abound as well, because we're the most productive people in the world. We, we make more stuff per person than anybody else in the world. Young students are, are graduating from St. Ambrose and other colleges all around America with tremendous debt and no jobs. And so we need to get this economy growing again so when you graduate from St. Ambrose, you have a good paying job so you can start paying down that debt. And I think Governor Romney and myself understand what it takes to, to create those jobs. Governor Romney hit Iowa hard in the home stretch of his campaign. He had to win over undecideds in the state to take his opponent out of office. This is a big election. This election is going to have, is going to have major impact, not just for four years, but for, for a generation. Realistically, the most the important issue, right as far as I can see, is challenge. getting the, the, the balancing the budget well. and making sure that the debt isn't passed on to the future generations. And the fact that he's prioritizing that is above everything because, along with that, everything else will follow, you know, the education system. And it, he has, a, like you said, a solid plan for education. We've been waiting to hire people. We lost our payroll clerk. We haven't replaced her. We outsourced it for now until we know where we are going to be financially. And our cost, you know, for health care and that, I, we're just we're waiting to see what it's going to cost us if, if Mr. Romney is not successful. And I'm convinced America can't lose when you help me become the next president of the United States. Over 2,200 were on hand for the event. Governor Romney headed to Ohio after the Quad City stop. From there, he was set to hit Florida, but had to cancel due to weather on the East Coast. Tim McNicholas, Dateline, SAU. And I want to make sure we, we finally confront the challenges and, and, and seize those opportunities. But for that to happen, we're going to have to have leadership in Washington that recognize the significance of this time and sees this as a, as a turning point.